So Emirati is a great, it's a fantastic company. It's been in business for about 30 years, but the past eight, nine years have been an explosiveness when it comes to the craft beverage. Home brewing is, is a big uh, proponent of that as well, just brewing in general. So we go to a lot of the, obviously, cider cons, brew shows, kind of deal with the big industry brewers. We also go to homebrew con as well. We think it's super important to be in all aspects of brewing. So Emirati is really an, um, a company that values its customers and, it, and its you know base. So really want to emphasize that if you're getting a you know passion fruit, um, whatever, whether it be the passion fruit craft puree or here at the passion fruit artisan, that you're almost like biting into that. You know, it's, we're trying to make it the most authentic it can be. So that's kind of what we strive for, what we aim to do, and we feel that it is what we accomplish. Uh, if you ask people if they try to have ready, most of the time they're gonna be like, if they have, they love it. So it's mainly for us. We don't have to really talk about it, just like just taste it and does everything we need to do. Our craft puree, which is less concentrated, that's typically the ones brewers tend to go to. It's easily scalable, it's easy to work with. Right here, I have enough to flavor about uh, let's see, five to 10, 15 gallons, depending on the dose you want to rate, uh, want to use. So one bottle is enough to do, you know, uh, half keg, if you will, and or just more. Most popular flavor, blood orange. Uh, blood orange craft puree is just is, is just it. When it comes to the artisans, like I mentioned, passion fruit, I can go into the extract. It's going to be actually our, our marshmallow. That's just kind of what we see trending on the market. Yeah. Uh, they are natural flavors, natural ingredients. You can even see right here, if I pick up this wild, this raspberry, you're gonna have, of course, natural sugars, natural acids. We actually will see raspberry in the ingredients list as well. The passion fruit we had earlier, same thing. You're actually gonna see the real fruit in there, the passion fruit. Things like extracts, since they're an extract, just an essence, you kind of typically will just see the natural flavor because you don't want the sugars in that, possibly cause re-fermentation. That's something what they want to go for, essence. We're talking like super concentrated, like a little two ounce bottle which you can see right here, this pear can flavor 111 gallons. So that's that's how much we're talking about in concentration. So for that, it's just natural flavor. Our growth mimics just the growth in the industry, um, what people are trying, what people want to do, what's new. So whatever works for the consumers works for us. Prickly pear key lime, it's my personal favorite. I use that all the time. I'm from, I spent 12 years in Arizona. So prickly pear, tunas as they call it out there, is a very, particular flavor and I just think we nail it and the key lime at the end there just adds a little bit of like a wow factor you know if you have any questions before you reach out to us our customer service is is right there it's real people you're not talking to AI or bots or anything if, if you call us you're gonna talk to me you might talk to Dylan you might talk to Vanessa I can I can name everybody that I work with that you're gonna speak to to have massive experiences, maybe not brewing, but working hand in hand with the big industry brewers too. So insight we can provide in any way we can, we will. A lot of times the website is the best because you do get to the promo codes. And if you sign up for the newsletter, we're currently doing 10% off, so even better.